All right, Matt, thanks a lot for joining me. Um, Eddie Howe's spoken this week about how they've tried to change things tactically a bit this season at Bournemouth, play a bit more on the counter-attack, have a bit more about them. Um, he's also kind of renowned for his man management skills, so I just wanted, one, wanted to ask you, how does your manager, Nuno, compare, really? Uh, well, we do a lot, a lot of shape. We look at um, the kind of weaknesses of other teams. Um, we don't put that much into it in terms of we're not doing it all week. Um, we watch a bit of video the night before, or maybe the de the day of even um, of the game, and um, just a lot of work on the training ground. Probably sim probably similar. A lot of um, tactical tactical things, trying to make sure that we're in in the right type of shape. Um, so I guess in that type of way, they might might be similar. Both good young coaches, um, and I guess Premier League's fortunate to have them both. How well does he like to get to know you on a personal level? I saw him. Congratulate Willie Bolly earlier, who's I think just yeah. become a dad. Um, but how does he like to to kind of get to know you off the field, and you know, is he an approachable character? Yeah, yeah, very approachable. Um, I guess he would look at us obviously as players, but a bit more than that, he sees us as friends in a way. Um, so you can speak to him about anything. Uh, I mean, just many times where we might talk about things outside of football. Um, Press me personally. So yeah, very approachable, and um, I guess he's got the balance right of being your manager and also. Being, being a bit of a friend as well. You, uh, of course, beat Bournemouth uh, in the driving rain in mid-December. Uh, that was an excellent month for you. You took 13 points from six games. I just wonder what the key was to that success during that month because it's, it's obviously a busy month and some teams can you know, really kind of fall off the radar. Um, the success was probably just being consistent in terms of our performance. I mean, there's times where you can be good one week and not so good the other week and you might you might slip up but I think we were just solid um, for the for the whole month and got the results in it's obviously extremely difficult to get results in the, in this league so um, when you can pick up that amount of points in a month is obviously a massive bonus because I think we had a, a run of where we were lost five in a row or something like that so that can easily happen um, so I think we kind of just went back to base and it was a bit consi more consistent um, and that managed to get us the results. Has he tweaked things a bit, you know, Well, that? yeah, you probably noticed the shape has probably changed a little bit. Um, where we play with an extra midfielder now, and and two forwards where we used to just be um, three four three. So that's definitely changed. We can always go back to that. We know how to play it, but I guess now that we have teams might try and figure out a little bit. We know that we can play two different shapes, and um, at the moment it's it's working well. It's working well for us. So I don't think it'll be changing anytime soon. Has it changed your job at all? Or do you just have to keep on running? Because he says you never stop. No, no, I have to keep on. I have to keep on running. Yeah, that that doesn't change. Um, I guess the only thing different might be that um, normally there would be a winger that I might play with. Um, maybe normally it's, maybe it's a midfielder now, or I have to try and link off the striker. But nothing, nothing too much. I still have to get on the back post when we go forward and get on the back post defensively. If you don't get to that back post when the cross comes in. Do you know that there's an earful for you? No, I you just feel the eyes, eyes burning. I'm just like looking over at side eyes like that to see. Um, but no, normally it's not because I can't get there. You can't get there every time anyway. So um, as long as you're there for the, the right moment, then that's what matters. We just mentioned your new contract. So congratulations on that. And obviously Connor Cody signed as well. And then today Roman Sice has joined yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, I believe uh, that's the case. So I think um, obviously I've, they're obviously happy with us for the firstly. Um, and we're obviously delighted to sign like I said earlier the club is, is going forward looking up um, and to be part of that is going to be pretty special for, for the future